you won't believe your eyes mistral has released a coding model what a good day and in this video we will be installing this new coding model from mistral and we will play around with it on few of the test benchmarks related to coding before that let me give you a quick overview of this code stroll which is a brand new model for coding from this french company mistral if you have been following my channel even for some time like few weeks you might know that i'm a huge fan of these mistral models i have covered all of them in great detail from all i think every possible angle from mistral 7 billion to mixtral their mixture of expert models and the list goes on and on so in this video we will be looking at code stroll the first ever coding model from mistral it is an open weight generative ai model explicitly designed for code generation tasks it helps developers write and interact with code through a shared instruction and completion api endpoint as it masters code in english it can be used to design advanced ai applications for software developers you can access it through api or you can download it from hugging face or you can simply go and download it from mistral one we will be using the hugging face one the quantize one but i will try to get the largest quant possible to make the quality as good as i could another cool fact about code, code stroll is that it is fluent in 80 plus programming languages yes you have heard it right 80 plus programming languages such as python java c c plus plus javascript and bash it also deals with swift and fortran and maybe cobol also it deals with sql the broad language base ensures code stroll can assist developers in various coding environments and projects code stroll saves developers time and effort it can compete uh, with any other coding model it can complete coding functions write tests and complete any partial code using a fill in the middle mechanism now if you want to translate a code from one language to another you want to fix the bugs you want to rewrite the code you want to summarize a code everything is possible with code stroll they also have released some of the benchmarking information as you can see on your screen so for example um, it has a context window of 32k and you can see that it has outperformed all of the models in the repo bench for the long range evaluation code so whether it is llama 370 billion deep c coder 33 billion and code llama it has performed amazingly well amazingly well and even on the human eval frame human eval average the score is pretty good if you look at the other benchmarks like this one where uh, it has evaluated on human eval pass one which primarily deals with inclusivity coherence and other benchmarking it has performed wonderfully well so this was just a short intro of code stroll i will be definitely covering it more um, but let's go and get try to get it installed on our local system i'm using ubuntu 22.04 with a gui and i have one gpu card of vram courtesy to our friends at mass compute if you are looking to rent a gpu on a discounted price without any lock-in contract i would highly recommend them i will drop the link to their website plus a discounted um, coupon which you can use to get 50 percent discount on various gpus so try it out and you won't be disappointed the instructions which i'm going to use you can use them on windows linux and mac so doesn't matter because it's a gui the tool which i'm going to use as you might have guessed is lm studio this is my LM Studio, which I already have downloaded. If you don't know what LM Studio is, I would um, suggest you to check my other videos where I go into way more detail. To launch LM Studio, simply type code stroll, press enter, and you will see that uh, four or five people already have done the quants. So I'm just going to go with the Bartowski ones. That is the first one. And you see that I already have downloaded this Q5KM. And this is one of the recommended one which i always use because it gives me a good balance of speed and performance let me click on this folder icon on the left and you will see that the file is there which is just under 16 gig it's a big model it's a 22 billion parameter model let's click on these three dots let's select the model from the top and let's wait for it to load 
and you can keep an eye on the resource usage on the top left before we move further let me select the mistral's preset let's see if we have it here in so i'm just going to go with mistral instruct for this one and then if i scroll down in the tools you see that you should be able to see that there should be a gpu offload sometimes it's just become a struggle with this windows in the gui so let me make it bit bigger and then i'm just going to offload it all the layers to the gpu there you go eventually i was able to do it it's early morning in sydney and my hands are freezing okay so let's wait for the model to reload and model is reloaded cool and now let's try to talk with it okay in the first one i'm asking it um okay sorry let me double paste it the first question is summarize the following python function in one sentence and i have given it a python function there you go you see how good the model response is typical for mistral compact concise to the point let's try out another example in the next one i am asking it provide a brief summary of the purpose of this javascript file let's see exactly that is correct and let me see if it can do write me a cobol program to create a calculator there you go so it knows cobol too which is quite an old language amazing stuff you see how good the program is if you're a COBOL programmer you would appreciate this amazing amazing stuff and then not only it has produced the code it has also given us the synopsis of the code as what exactly it it does amazing stuff now in the next one i am asking it to write a concise summary of this c plus plus snippet let's run it there you go so it has correctly identified that it is a binary search algorithm amazing stuff in the next test i am asking it to translate this python function into javascript let's see if it can do the code translation yep it can and you can immediately tell it is spot on it's all javascript and then as usual it has given us a very concise correct synopsis of the code let's try out if it can do the ruby so i'm asking it to translate the code from c to ruby there you go it also knows the ruby there amazing stuff in the next one i am asking it to write me a smart contract in haskell if you are in the crypto and you might know of um, cardano cryptocurrency the ada then it is written in haskell so let's see if it knows about haskell okay so it doesn't know about haskell but you see it says that i'm glad you asked about writing a smart contract in haskell however it is important to note that there isn't a widely used platform for this but it is telling me that i can use the solidity or move so i'm just going to ask it okay write me the smart contract in solidity there you see and so we have the smart contract too amazing stuff cool okay write me a unit test to test my web user interface let's try to keep it as general as possible for taking customer order there you go so you see it has written as a unit test amazing stuff how good is that it is describing what exactly it does it is just a render say order form beautiful now let's try to check its sql or structured query language um, capabilities so structured query language primarily is used for the databases if you're not aware so in the next one what i'm going to do i'm just going to ask it if it can optimize a sql query 
So let's see. So I have given it the SQL query. I have described it what exactly the SQL query does. And this is not an optimal one. So let's see if it can optimize it. Amazing stuff. Because I have been using this query a lot. So I know that this is um, not optimized. But this one which it has produced. It has optimized it. And this is what I really love about this. That it has told me what exactly it is doing. And if you have ever dealt with SQL query optimization. optimization you might know that optimizing it is not a small feat. And then look you could just go on and on and on with this one so i believe it has passed all the tests it is and this is just a quantized version so from every angle it has produced awesome code as good as any other top coding model out there let me know what do you think i will drop the link to this website in video's description you can also check it out on hugging face so really very very glad about the code stall i will be using it more and more in my um, some of the tasks because it looks really awesome as usual from Mr. All. That's it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.